I'm building a $500 gaming PC for my best friend and if you've been following my journey you know it's been a bumpy road. Every part I'm gonna be using for this system is used except for the case and the only thing I've tested so far is the GPU. Is this thing gonna turn on? Let's check it out. Ooh, the RGB is working! Why is it taking so long? Yes, we've got the picture! I can't believe it's actually working, even the RGB! NVIDIA GTX 1080 Ti with 11 GB of VRAM on board from Aorus. I only have two requirements for this build. Number one, it should be able to run The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt at over 60 FPS with ultra settings at 1440p resolution. And the second one, it has to look good. GPU, check. Motherboard, check. Fully modular power supply, check. Processor, SSD and RAM, defective water cooling system, and a case. Actually, that's the only part that is new, so I really hope this whole thing is gonna turn off. Let's unbox this. It's stuck. Finally. Whoa, it's actually so lightweight. And it's so small. Guys, place your bets. Do you think this graphics card is gonna fit? The only reason I picked up this case is because you can actually open this side window. Not just take it off, but literally open it. Like this. I really hope my best friend is gonna love it. I've actually seen a lot of complaints online about this case not being able to fit an ADX form factor motherboard and an ADX form factor power supply. Our motherboard is actually a micro ATX form factor, so it should fit just fine. Let's start with the CPU. This is an AMD Ryzen 5 5600 processor and it actually looks brand new. Aligning the arrow. Oh yeah. Next up is RAM. We have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM blanks from HyperX. Of course they have RGB and I really hope it's working too. Click. Nice. I've also installed this bracket on the bottom of the motherboard so we can secure the cooling system on it. Now let's put it inside. I screwed it with a couple of screws and now that the motherboard is secured, it's time to install the cooling system. But before that, I gotta show you this footage. So every part for a $500 gaming PC came in. I've installed a CPU, RAM, and everything was going perfectly fine. But then they ran into another issue with this Amazon cooling system. You see this little clip here? So the water block goes here, right on the CPU. And this thing is used to secure it. Something like this. And the other one should have gone right here on the opposite side. Yes, the seller only included one of these. I searched for three hours for this little thing on the internet and I couldn't find it anywhere. But that's not the end of the story. Before buying this cooling system, I double checked the specs. It should be able to fit in this case. But I'll be damned. They moved this control panel and the button way too far to the middle of the case. They should have put them an inch to the front. I really thought I was gonna finish building this system today, but building a PC out of used parts, it actually feels like gambling. Anyway, I've ordered another cooling system that is twice as small so it should fit this case perfectly and it's arriving tomorrow. I'm not gonna tell you what system exactly I've ordered but for that price it's illegal. Summarizing all that's been said, this one is too big and it only has one of two special clips that we need to secure it on the CPU. And today this NZXT Kraken 120 came in so I hope that this one is our savior. Alright let's see what we've got. It still has the plastic on it. The radiator is in a great condition, no damage at all. And yeah, these are the little parts we needed for our build so desperately. I'm so happy that the guy who sold me this was trustworthy. The cooler doesn't have an RGB, but it's from NZXT, so it's 100% high quality and I think it covers it up. This is the bracket that we need to install it on our socket, AM4. I think it should go like this. And instead of that one, this one is actually for Intel CPUs. So we're sliding this right in here. Come on, baby. Yes, I like where this is going. How do we place it? That's actually my first time installing a water cooling system, so I have no idea where the radiator should go, but I'm assuming on the back side like this. I think I'm gonna start with the water block, so let's apply the thermal paste. At that moment, I was so intensely focused on carefully attaching the water block without smearing thermal paste everywhere that I couldn't even utter a word. The tubes were so stiff and it just kept slipping off its spot. But in the end, everything worked out fine. And the water block is installed. This was my very first time, and it was so hard. Next up is the radiator. I think it should go something like this. Let's try securing it. All right. I guess it doesn't look too bad, eh? I think it's time to take care of the SSD. I'm planning to put it right there. Unscrewing this. And I gotta screw this together. Couldn't find the screws I needed for a while, but I think it's these ones. 
and it should go right here like this what i don't know how do how do i secure this guys drop a comment down below on how do i install this i completely forgot about this cooler let's throw this inside should go like this perfect it's finally secured and now i've got another question to you do you think this ps here gonna fit this small case place your bets in the comments nice i mean it's not perfectly aligned but we can live with it that's actually a pretty badass power supply for our budget it's from seasonic 550 watts and i believe it has a gold rating so i finally plugged in all the cables no management yet so it looks kind of messy from behind also i plugged in the ssd and put it inside of this compartment next to the power supply because i couldn't figure out how to place it here and the next thing we're gonna do is install the gpu i really hope it's gonna fit into our case installing the gpu plugging in the power cables all right i think we're good to go plug it in the display port power supply my absolutely favorite keyboard and the razor wireless mouse i love this thing and now we've got a few options number one it's just not gonna turn on and this is not the worst case scenario number two i'm gonna set my house on fire which i really hope not gonna happen and number three it will turn on it will be working just fine we will tweak some things in bios install windows check out if the drivers have installed properly and it will be our happy end for today because it is 2 a.m already and i have my workout in the morning i really hope i didn't mess up with the cables and a water pump will work just fine i'm so nervous no fire just now Let's roll. For some reason, it just didn't start. I have no idea what went wrong. It's four in the morning and I couldn't fall asleep. So I basically rebuilt this system from scratch. This is going to be my final attempt to turn it on. It's all clean, beautiful. The GPU is installed. Everything's plugged in. Please turn it on. <laughs> Any signs of life? Nothing. I see RGB there! I see some lights! Fuck, I don't wanna hit the wrong contacts. Yes! It's working! Guys, it's working! I completely forgot about that. Uh, wait, it's HDMI. Where's the display port? Here it is. Please show me something good, please. So far you can see that RGB on the water cooling system isn't working, but the RAM and the graphics card, damn, this looks beautiful. This cooler is working, this cooler is working. This one is not because it's not plugged in. I don't have the correct connector for it. Display port. Yes, we've got the picture. It's actually working. It's actually working. We've got the picture, the RAM is shining nicely, but the one thing I'm not sure about, and I also don't know how to check it, I don't know if the water cooling is working. BIOS has been reset, please reconfigure BIOS setup items if needed, okay. Had to replace the battery on the motherboard to fix this issue. Okay, I'm ready for everything. What do we have? 16 gigs of RAM, CPU temperature 32 degrees. I think this cooler is working. Actually, this motherboard doesn't support the water cooling system. So I literally plug the pump into the CPU fan header and it is recommended to set that fan to maximum RPM and BIOS. So right now I'm gonna try to find that setting and I'm gonna change it. Found this setting in BIOS, set it to full speed and I can't believe how quiet this system is. It's actually working. I have installed the drivers, a couple of games and the PC works just fine. I know for sure that the water cooling system is working because the CPU temperatures never went beyond 55 degrees, so that's a good thing. Also, the accent color of this build is orange, and I've managed to adjust this HyperX RAM planks to orange as well, just like the GPU. So far, I have installed only four games, and we will test them out tomorrow. Even though it was a bumpy road, as I said at the beginning, I really enjoyed building this PC, and I hope my friend is gonna be happy about it. And the day axe has come. Hello. Wow. This is your brand new gaming PC. Me and my friends have gathered at my place because one of them had a birthday. 
Long story short, my best friend Dimitri was very happy about his builds. He tried playing Cyberpunk 2077, Fortnite, Witcher 3, and a few other games, and the gameplay was so smooth that we couldn't believe our eyes. Such an old GPU was handling modern 3 play titles at ease, with the graphic settings set to Ultra at 1440p resolution. And I was so happy that the PC that was built entirely from the used parts was working great. Support this video with a like and comment, follow for more content like this as I have a lot of friends without gaming PCs. Let me know what you think about this system and what PC should I build next. <laughs> Я думал, что у меня будет я такие, знаешь, бабера, а он уже такой бабера. Так станет, как кино. Thank you guys so much for being with me during this build and see you in the next one.